Hey guys, Colonel Cripple here, and welcome to another hands, another part of my new series, Hands-On Reviews. Of uh, today, we're gonna do Windows 8 Professional Edition. Um, this is Windows 8. Um, this is my desktop. Now you might be thinking to yourself, "Wow, oh, this looks like a lot like Windows 7 and and onward." Yes, except one thing: where's the start orb? bar whatever version of windows you're using before this ah! yep they're copying mac <laughs> anyway let's before we get into that's the start menu believe it or not yeah it takes up your entire screen uh before we get into that let's see what's different let's go to um the recycle bin now a lot of people find this new, the new this new window um ui of the windows themselves a bit cluttered and I don't blame them look they couldn't even fit the uh, disk drive into the thing um, without you know resizing but uh, it's weird let's let's put something in the recycle bin let's make a folder by the way you can right click go new just like whatever and name it baby defigures drag it into the recycle bin and it looks like we have trash in it now in the past you would just right click empty recycle bin which you could still do but the method i did before was it would just be on here like that like recycle bin but it they didn't have these tabs like file it's, it's see it's weird it takes some time getting used to but it is weird um share view manage but by default empty recycle bin is in the manage tab this whole new windows management this the window u interface is weird uh, but yeah, let's delete that folder, and it was as simple as that. Um, yeah, so let's go to, to some applications here. Let's go, uh, let's click iTunes. Let's see how fast it loads up. I have 8 gigs of RAM on this baby. So, um, yeah, see, that was pretty fast. Um, this is the new iTunes 11. If you haven't seen my review, go to my channel and watch it. It's a very good review. Um, that, that's... But yeah, applications um, open and close rather quickly. Um, of course, it's not going to close now because my phone is backing itself up. So we'll just leave that there. I don't have time to fidget with that on video. Let's check out the start menu. We got a lot of crap. One thing I don't like, here's one thing off the start menu off the bat, was when you install something, like a game or something, by default, they'll put an icon on your desktop. That's okay with me. But this, they put all these tiles of the game, which you can delete by simply scrolling. And by the way, and by simply right-clicking these tiles and click Unpin from Start here at the bottom left. Do that right there. And uh, yeah, and it's weird because it's a side scroll. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Right? <laughs> um, but you use your mouse wheel. It's so disorienting because your mouse wheel is an up-and-down thing. So I don't know. I Maybe it's just me, but yeah, this is the start menu. Uh, Mountain Lion Much? Max, jeez. So let's see, what features, what apps come installed by default? We have Internet Explorer. I do have some installed apps, so I'm going to show the ones that come with the thing. So let's say, hmm, GBA Clone Review. That sounds interesting. It's a bootleg GBA. I can like the video. The browser, let me just tell you, the start menu version, yeah, the start menu version of Internet Explorer and the desktop version are two different lines of code. So, yes, it does matter. Uh, hmm, oh, this video is cool. I like it. Let's put your mouse down to the bottom left or bottom right and click Share, and I can share it to these... They don't have Facebook or Twitter integration yet, which is kind of just seems dumb. But yeah, you can share it there. Um, let's see. So we can click now. And you're thinking, whoa, wait a minute. Where's the the, the X and the, mim the bar to minimize? Here's what you do. Put your mouse and you'll see your little hand comes up. Hold it down and drag down. Application is closed. Now let's open a bunch of applications at once here. Let's open OneNote. Let's open SkyDrive. And let's open Calendar. Okay, so we got all these open at once. Um, now, the multitasking s is not that good. Now, we'll go allow. I don't know why it was asking me anything. Maybe it's the first time I ever opened it. Durr. Um, yeah, so we can switch between applications. 
by going to the top right corner and dragging your mouse down, but still keep it on the edge of the screen. Or it's fidgety. It is fidgety. And we can go between applications. And of course, we can we can do this as well. If we go down, we can we can close them by right clicking like that as well. So that's the start menu in a nutshell, and you can, uh, let's show you, if you go to the bottom left here without putting your mouse, without this coming up, it's really all weird. Everything, a lot of features in Windows 8 seem to be on one spot, which is weird to me. Um, anyway, if we go down and click this little bar at the bottom right, it goes like, whoa, look at this. We can name this group, you even named entertainment, blah, 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 or just entertainment, right? Entertainment name and we can right click and we can delete we can move them around and all that you know do whatever um and you just double click to get back to where you were now let's see the apps this come it comes with the internet explorer we already showed you that now let's see the windows store now a lot of people criticize the windows store for lacking apps and i don't think that's microsoft's fault really people will decide to make apps whatever just like the app store on the on the iphone and the mac books so that that the apps will come in time is what I'm saying. Give it give it time. Windows is Windows 8 has only been out for like a month, so well, actually it's been like a month and a half now, yeah. Uh <clears throat> but yeah. So let's see the camera app. I I'm sure this is going to be a webcam. Yep, it's a webcam. Hi. Uh very very slow and I know it's not my computer because I have an Alienware machine. So let's close that. Um Let's see, remote desktop, you all know what that is. Uh, let's people from another room assist you. Let's get out of that. Let's not fish with that. Uh, see, we got email, classic email. You can add anything. It, it, it's a bit fidgety because it only accepts at live, at live email addresses because that's Microsoft's main email line. But you can add secondary email addresses, which is a bit fidgety at, at times. So let's delete those. Uh, yeah, and uh, what's this? That's you can add a new message to so and so. Uh, subject is so and so, and y'all y'all get the point. Uh, delete draft. Uh, yeah, so let's close that. Um, yeah, the weather application. Um, let's see. I'm in Canada, so we're um, in in we're gonna be in uh, Celsius here. Yes, I am local to Canada. For people who don't watch my videos, um, let's see, we're in Calgary. It is minus one. Ooh, it's cold. It was colder yesterday, actually. It was minus 12 yesterday. It was just snow everywhere. We lived in a colorless world, temporarily. <laughs> um, uh, let's see here. We got your Photos app. You know, it's like photo. It's like the photo viewer in Mac OS X. Uh, an exact ripoff, actually. Like, uh, we got your messaging. These are people. need Now, it's funny. These can connect to Facebook and Twitter and Skype and all that. These messaging, in this instant messaging client that comes with it. But it, but but when I go to share a video via the right side of the computer screen and click share, let's not play that. I don't want to get copyright infringed. If I click share, there's no Facebook or Twitter integration in here, so it kind of just seems like a lost cause, really. Um, of course, we got your Google Search app, which I don't really see the point. If you're on a tablet, and yes, Windows 8 is compatible with tablets. That's why it has this whole weird interface. It's trying to combine the desktop experience and the touch screen experience in one but i don't see this i see this being useful on a tablet but i don't see this being useful on a desktop because i just could go to, inter to internet explorer right and i could go google and we're at google right so i don't see the point there um it comes it doesn't that, that anyway so yeah it's google and the wikipedia apps are apps you can download on the windows store which is in itself a rip off the app store um <clears throat> Xbox Smart Class, you can start games and log into your Xbox Live and turn on your Xbox on, actually, believe it or not, via your computer. And it actually works perfectly, believe it or not. I haven't had any problems with it. Netflix is also an app you can download. But for it to work, you need a uh, WQHL. You'll see that in your driver, in your drivers for your graphics card. It needs to have a WQ, which is like Windows Certified Driver, for it to work. And you use a Tom and Jerry app, every Tom and Jerry uh, from the old ones back in the day to now ever made. And um, yeah, here's the default music app, but obviously, if obviously iTunes is better. Um, and if you haven't watched my iTunes version 11 review, it was I just uploaded it yesterday. Go watch it. Um, 
yeah, here's a radio app. You can also download here games. Cut the Rope is a pay game on the App Store, but it is free. Epically free, believe it or not, on um, Windows Store. Full version free. It's a good game. It works with the mouse. I'm not sure how it works with the tablet because I don't own one, but it works with the mouse perfectly. And these games, as you see, they say Xbox. You're like, wait a minute. None of these games are on the Xbox Live Arcade. That's because they're not. That's because they're. And you can integrate this. You can integrate your login when you log in in your, comp at, in your computer at the very start with. Uh, you can integrate that account with your Xbox Live or Windows Live account and you get achievement points. Yes, Jackback Joyride gives you achievements. Solitaire now gives you achievements. I find that hilarious in itself. Old folk who, old 60 year old senior folk who want to play some Solitaire and earn some gamer score can do it. Um, so yeah, that's basically Windows 8 in a nutshell. Um, yeah, if you liked what you saw, you can comment on the, you can comment, you can rate the video, and uh, share it with your friends. Spread the love. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.